this is the setup that I use and I'm going to talk to you guys about this grippy thing that holds my camera. As you can see, it's just planted on there and it's flexible and I'm going to give you an in-depth review of what this is all about. How do I record myself? Well, I use a little grippy thing like this. I'll send you the Amazon link. And what this is, is it's just a little steel thing that you can bend and flex and you can put it wherever you want. And it's pretty sturdy and that's what I use. You clamp this end down onto a desk and you just simply clamp it down to uh, pretty tight. And it's just holding my phone so it doesn't have to be extremely um, sturdy. But as you can tell, it's 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 fairly sturdy no matter which direction I put it. Sometimes it's actually hard to put it in the right direction you want, you know, with all the different bends and twists you can do with it. But I've had this for a few months now and I really enjoy it. And this piece right here, you can loosen up a little bit or all the way. And what it does is it allows you to rotate any direction you want when your phone's connected to it. I'll give you an example here. Here's my old phone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus and you would simply just strap it in like this and make sure this clamp is tight and once it's tight you can angle it any direction you want upside down whatever direction now you can still hit the record button from the back you can still see most of the screen I use the front cam or the uh, the rear camera because it's a better camera so I have to constantly look behind it to see am I recording or am I not. I will show you a couple more uh, angles and just uh, put the link below if you're interested in buying this. This is what I use. Hopefully it's on a, a surface like your desk where your desk isn't really going to bounce around but if it does bounce it stops within a few you know half a second. So this is how it's oriented on my desk right now. It's pretty solid and it's flexible. Right now I'm showing you how I can put the phone that I use on and off. It is a little difficult not to touch the screen while you're doing that. You almost need a third hand. As you can see it stretches open. I have an iPhone 7 and I have an iPhone 10 XR or XS and they both work perfectly fine in this. So that's me putting it on and taking it off. As you can see, it has a little bit of bounce. And now you can turn it, you can orient it, you can slide it. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. Once you bend that steel, it stays in place pretty solid. As you can see, it has a slight bounce to it, but it goes away. And if it's on a hard surface like your desk, you're fine. There I am smacking it to show you how it flexes or bounces when you actually hit it. Now it does happen when you're recording you might bump your elbow on your desk or something and it will slightly wobble. So as you can see I just clamp it onto my desk. It's got, it's got quite a bit of room so you can have a thick desk or a wide desk or not and it should still it should still work. I've also used it on like tree branches and fence posts things like that to prop this thing up. Also what I'm showing you here is that I can take the actual mount part off just by unscrewing it. You can also tighten and loosen it up based on um, if you definitely don't want another angle you can tighten that up real tight. And it's got that little ball joint and you can just throw it on there and it's good to go. Sometimes I take it off just to put my phone onto it then I clamp the uh, mount back onto the actual fixture. Whatever's easiest for you. I do feel it's a little sloppy getting it on and off because I'm always touching the screen. For some reason I like to uh, hit record before I even put it on. However, um, you know, it, for the price this definitely does the trick. See right here you can orient it uh, vertical or horizontal, it doesn't matter. I actually have this plugged into my computer at the same time.